guys, welcome to Trucker's Kitchen. I'm gonna help you create healthier meals while you're on the road. So today's recipe, we're gonna kind of do a combination of a Mexican rice bowl, but you can do this as many different things. This is a meal that you can add and take away. So you can make it into a rice bowl, a taco salad, and the tacos, a burrito, or uh, use it as a dip with some scoop chips and things like that. So it has so many different options. I hope you enjoy the recipe. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and brown up the meat. You guys know us and we enjoy getting meat straight from the farm. So this is some um, grass fed beef that we get. And when you're cooking your meat, go ahead and add your water in because with these electric skillets, it's gonna help keep it from burning. So I never measure anything. So I just like putting a nice coat. So we had paprika, this is chili powder. And if you saw the Ultimate Trucker's Kitchen video, then you would have seen these. They are amazing. They're magnified and stick underneath the cabinet. So I just like sprinkling it over the meat. And then I cook it to taste. This is some garlic powder. The last one was cumin. A little bit of onion powder. And you can make your own seasoning. If you don't want to go through this process, then of course you can pick up uh, one of those taco seasoning packets. Uh, for me, they add some other things in there and it's just not safe sometimes with me being gluten free. So the reason I push it to the outside is because the element for this pan is goes in a rectangle. So it helps the meat cook a little bit faster. Now I love this pan because it is deep dish. So it definitely helps not spill out or go over the edges. So it helps prevent a little bit of the mess. So once again, I'm just gonna go and add a little bit of those spices again to mix it in really good. Before we mix this one in, I also have these little snack bags that have onions and peppers already diced up, fresh from the garden over the summertime. And they're already diced and pre-packaged in there, so then I can just dump the amount that I want in there. So I'll put some of those in, put them back in the freezer, whatever I don't use, and mix them in to start cooking. And the key to not sticking to your pan is just keep adding a little bit of water. Add in some tomatoes. We're just gonna let those sit on top because we don't want to cook through the skin. All right guys, so I know that was kind of quick, but you saw the gist of it. Fry up the meat in the pan, add your seasoning and your onions, your peppers, your tomatoes. And then earlier in the week, I had prepared some rice for another meal. So if I'm cooking rice, potatoes, or things like that, then if I'm gonna eat it more than once in that week, I prepare enough for that. Uh, so I'm not trying to do dishes more than I need to. Um, so this is Scott's. He's going to eat it as a dip and I'm going to eat it as a rice bowl. But like I said, you can go ahead and in the skillet, you could have added black beans. You could have added a can of Rotel or uh, some other things like that. If you wanted to add some more depth to it, you could add corn. There's many different things that you could do with this. You could also serve it as a taco, burrito, lots of options. So I hope that was helpful and it hopefully it helps create healthier meals while you're on the road and you can enjoy cooking in the cab as well. So here's our amazing table. Check it out at the Ultimate Kitchen um, and Pantry uh, Trucker Edition. And then also where we have set up our uh, dishwasher and our other prep stations. So we have a 360 station. So a lot of times when I'm cooking, I'll go like this and I'll stand right here and I got a lot of room to cook with. So I hope you enjoy it. Stay safe and enjoy the road. Bye.